Potential growth for the microgrid market is huge. It is virtually possible for every facility and residence around the world to be powered by some type of microgrid scheme. Consider this. In 2000, the world consumed nearly 13 billion kilowatt hours of electricity. But by 2008, energy consumption had increased 32 percent, reaching over 17 billion kilowatt hours. While increasing population, rural development, and overall increasing energy consumption is good news for utility companies, there is one technological advancement underway that will hurt the revenue stream in the future, and that is the microgrid's potential to sell electricity back to the central grid. Today, manufacturing plants and industrial facilities are finding that using their own renewable energy resources in a microgrid system can be economically beneficial to their businesses. Besides reduced downtime and less damaged material due to power outages, commercial and industrial microgrids are partly powered by renewable energy sources such as solar or wind. This enables a company to take advantage of reduced electricity costs, tax breaks, implementation grants, and other nationwide and local government incentives. But another economic incentive is the financial kickback from selling the excess power generated from these renewable sources back to the utility company. Utility companies are not thrilled about passing some of the revenue that has traditionally been theirs onto the consumer, but this electricity exchange will ultimately enhance grid stability and help satisfy renewable energy targets for the utility. Audrey Zibelman, CEO of Veridity Energy, makes a good point in her interview with Giga Ohm. I don't think the model for the industry can't be one that says it's exclusively the utility's domain to develop these microgrids. She explains that utility companies may not be looking for economic benefits for the consumer, but rather grid stability for their own operations. It is possible that this way of thinking could lead to a number of utility-run microgrids that do not have a sell-back potential. Although it is still expensive to install a microgrid system, it can pay off in the long run. The total global market for microgrids reached $4 billion in 2010, up 70 percent from 2006. SBI Energy forecasts the microgrid market will experience a hefty 102 percent increase in market value between 2010 and 2015, then another 78 percent increase from 2015 to 2020, ultimately reaching 15 billion in market value. Thank you for listening. Visit sbireports.com for more information on the global microgrid market and to see our full catalog of market research titles.